Previously, on Abandoned and Forgotten Places, episode 107. Oh, wow, look at all of these uh, sacks of ore. Oh, holy cow. This thing just keeps going deeper and deeper. Oh, look at here. Nice artifact. Label is pretty well deteriorated. Sure is. Well, maybe not. get a closer look at it if, if if this ties into the larger workings that I eventually want to explore in that shaft then this would be one heck of a find wouldn't it ladder's in good shape okay and there's air I feel air here this is connecting to something or another all right let me recon it you stay up top I'll let you know what I find and or if these ladders are good enough for me to walk on Oh, they're pretty darn sketchy, man. Whew. I do not like the looks of that one right there. So this level here, did you feel air coming through? Is it I did. continue? Well, this is... Uh, yeah, I did feel air. Good way to go, then. So this could possibly spit out at... Uh, All right, I got to get past the broken rungs here. Yep. Some people said Gly has never met a ladder that he didn't like. That's oh so true. Almost to the bottom. And there we are. Woohoo! Nice! Major drift level, Randy. Yep, you gotta come down here. Absolutely. All right. All right, turn it back around. I am going to uh, take a break a second, guys, shake off some of the adrenaline, and I'll be right back. There we go. That was nice to take a small break there for just a second. Um, so what do we have immediately by the ore chute here? Looking down, there is a broom and a Prince Albert container. And there's nothing in it. I've already looked. Okay, now let's head over here to the main haulage. I can... See now, if I look at that flag hanging off the wall there, it's not moving. So, so far, I'm not really seeing any airflow here. Down on the ground here, we've got a whole bunch of uh, remnants of modern day dynamite boxes. There's one there. And we have a drift going up, up that direction. And we have another drift 
as I turn around with the rail on the floor going up that direction. So let's let's revisit that. For right now, I'm going to take stay on what's looks is looking like the primary. Here we have a jug. I'm going to let you, Oh, it's it's we've seen these before, Randy. It's a, a jug of bleach. Interesting. Yeah, the it's, bleach. It's, it's, it's right written right on the bottom. Clorox. Yeah. See that? Yeah, it says bleach embossed in the glass. Sure does. Yeah, we found many of them over the last couple of years, but that's that's the first time I think we found one where the the little the little uh, uh, handle thing wasn't busted. Wow! Look at this. Now you can start to see. Notice the geology, Randy. They're not. They're running against the grain. They're, as they're coming into the mountain here, they're going against the grain. What is that? Hubco sand sample bags. Hmm. Uh, some more modern prospectors were in here sampling. Well, it certainly would be fantastic if this went back outside and then we wouldn't have to climb back up all those ladders again, wouldn't you agree? Yeah. Well, what about exploring uh, the continuation of this up up there where the rails are? Yeah, we're, we're, I'm, I'm yeah. going to. I first Go wanted back. to see if this uh, goes back outside. All right. And with as many orange tags as I'm seeing on the walls. I'll bet it does. All right, we're just working our way through this rather quickly here. Um, if something really cool geologically pops out, I'll be sure to point it out to you. So right now we're just twisting and turning, twisting and turning on some kind of a hall level. They were chasing a vein, don't you think? Well, I can see where they're following that fault. Mm -hmm. And then they came in here and uh, scrapped out all of the rail. What do we got here? Oh, it's a, an old, old Quaker Oats. From the 50s or 60s, I'll bet. Yeah, right there. Yeah, I found this. Quaker Oats and some, Randy found some fuse. Safety fuse. Oh, yeah. Okay. So this is either going to go back outside via an adit, or it's going to intersect with a vertical shaft. All right, we have all kinds of graffiti in here with a drift going off that direction. Look, we got look at that cable. Graffiti from 1954, right there, and a whole bunch on the look here. Look at all the graffiti above your head, Randy, from 1936. This says 1918 and 1918. T no F F. Uh, B O R, I can't quite make it out. E Borgeson. Bor Borgeson. E Borgeson. From 1918. Wow. My helmet's wearing out. It won't stay put. The pads need reinforcements. All right, and we have another drift going off that direction. I think we're still on the primary, Randy. Let's just uh, continue. Yeah, this ends here. It's going to end, isn't it? Well, then we'll go up and take another look. And down here on the floor, there's a dynamite box, kind of a cool looking bucket. Up here, yeah, at one time this would have been an ore pass, and now it's completely plugged. All right, turn it back around. Wow, 1918, how cool is that? All right, headed back. Now let's look up this other drift. 
if it isn't even a drift. Wellman applesauce. Cool. Oh, hey, we have a door. Look there. Here's a door. Anything behind the door? Door number one. Look what it says behind it. Whirlwind Bin. Whirlwind Bin on November 29th, 1936. Cool. Now, is this an air door or this is going to be powder storage? We got ourselves powder storage. Holy cow, look at all yeah. the fuse. Piece of fuse everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah, this is dynamite storage. All right, watch out for unexploded. Is this going to be anywhere? It's going to be in here. Could be hiding under this paper. Just, you know, be very, very careful. I'm not going to go rifling through that big pile of paper because you could have a stick under there and I don't want to disturb it. We've all, we all know what dynamite looks like. I've showed you many sticks in the past, but yeah, this was definitely dynamite storage and I can still see the, uh, the instructions laying on the floor here that came in the cases. Mm. Yeah, the be careful, Randy. Paper. Yeah, that is. Yeah, I don't know. Just uh, it's it's pieces best not the, to go rifling through it. Looking for pieces of the box here. You know. Right. You be careful, Randy. Markings on it. Um, you will not recover from a stick of dynamite going off in your face. Okay. I'm heading back out to the main haulage. Sounds like a good idea. Yeah. Yeah, let's take a look down that other drift. All right, I'm coming up here and I'm turning right. We got a cable on the ground. going to go up and intersect the shaft. We got some backfill here. Yeah, a bunch of backfill, kerosene tins, um, carbide tins, tin cans of every shape, form, and function. And then up here, what do we got? Let's look here. Kerosene tin. And we have an old ladder that goes up to something that's been that the miners blocked off. Right there. Completely blocked off. I'll bet it's a shaft because you see the uh, water marks, the mud running down the rock right there. That probably goes up to a vertical shaft. Hey, Randy, you following me? I'm behind you. Okay, don't get lost. All right, we got another drift. Two of them, actually. One going to the right with a shovel down on the ground here. And one going off to the left. Randy, I'm going right. Did you hear me? I'm right behind you. Okay, I'm, I'm going right. Well, it's the only way to go. Right. Let's see what we have up here. Okay. Yeah, they got back up in here. We got ourselves a critter, but I don't know what it is, or even if it's alive. Come here, Randy. Hurry up. Come here, Randy. Pack rat. Right there. Oh. 
What is it? Pretty big. Go poke it with a stick. I think it's uh, no longer living. Uh, it's stinking. What? What is it? What kind of animal is Phew. it? Let me get closer here. I don't know. Oh, is that a rabbit? That's not a rabbit. Is that a uh, mine cat? I don't know. It's been dead a while, but it's still stinking. Can you see its face? Mm -mm. It's, it's solidified into the uh, mineral that's piled up around it. Yeah, that's stinking pretty Phew. good. What in the world kind of animal is that? Pew! Skunk. I can't see a face on it. That's what I'm saying. It's yeah. It's buried in the material. The stuff's been yeah. crumbling on it. I don't know. All right, I'll let you go up there and tell me if it uh, goes any further or not. No, it ends right here. There's it nothing. ends right there. Okay. Well, hey, at least we found the critter that's been digging these holes, huh? Right. All right. Turn it back. Around. Oh, it's a badger. Look. All right. Phew. Gotta, look, I look, gotta look, get look. out of here. Look. There's there's his head. It's a badger. Nice. I'll be darned. How it was a badger? How did a badger get this deep? Bosney died. Would you look at that? Okay. So then the next question is, where did he come in at? I like finding critters. I don't. Even if they're dead. Okay, so we came from uh, that direction. Let's look off this direction. We got a backfill drift going that direction. And what do we have up here? No. It just goes up here and stops. Yeah. All right, turning around. Well, that keeps going. Does that keep going? Yeah. Do we want to go down there, though? Sure. Go ahead. All right. Let's do it. We're here. Let's go for it. One of us has to stay on the other side of this. Well, for I now, guess anyway. That would be the smart thing to do. It's just backfill, it's not collapse. I think it ends. I can't tell. It looks like it goes around a corner. Okay. I'll kind of follow you until you can give me a report. Boy, RJB, he really gets around. He does, doesn't he? That guy. This is it. Doesn't go anywhere. That's it, huh? Oh, bummer. Well, at least it's a full explore. Nothing of interest, huh? No. Okay. All right. Well, the audience thanks you, Randy. Coming through. The audience thanks you for looking. You just never know what's gonna, what kind of artifacts you can find in a backfill. Good job. Okay, good job, Randy. Dead bat. Turning around, we got to go back to where we came from. Now that that level has been explored. So the fact that there were rails down here, that's, uh, that says that this has got to have another opening. Yep, you're right. I think we're doing this mine backwards. I think so. I think we're doing it backwards. Yeah, I think we're doing this. I think we're doing this mine backwards. 
Is, well. the, is the red light to my recorder still on? Yeah. Good deal. Okay. Now this cable on the floor, they would have been utilizing that for a slusher. All right, turning around. Heading back from which we came. Are you sure? Past the Quaker Oats. Oh yeah, I never get lost in mines, Randy. Well, you know, famous last words, never say never. I have gotten turned around. Well, again. right looks like the right way to go because it's the only way left to go, right? Right. Or is it left? I would be incredibly happy if we follow the rail and it goes back outside. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. The rail's going to go to uh, some kind of a portal. Either a portal or a vertical shaft, one or the other. Sulfur is stronger here. There's a, a Peter Banner. We didn't see that coming in from March 2nd of uh, 1918, right there. Yeah, this is all newer mines past the boom period. Past the boom. The boom was from? 1904 to 1910. Okay. Okay, still working our way up to what we're hoping is going to be the uh, exit. Past the bottle. It was kind of nice finding that. And all right, so one of the places we haven't explored yet, now we we came from up there, right up here is the ladder with the Kilroy and the, uh, and the uh, ore chute. Off to the left is the drift with the rail on the floor. But before we go that way, we didn't go this way yet. We have, we gotta go explore this drift. You know, uh, I am a little bit concerned that we might bump into another badger. You know, badgers, badgers are not the friendliest uh, creatures, Randy. Well, we're not going to mess with them. Look at this raise. All right. No, they'll chase you. You know that, don't you? I'm not worried. Badgers will chase you. Okay. Nothing going that way. I see a whole bunch of something up here. What do we got? What in the world? Holy cow, look at this winds, Randy. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Look at this. These guys were some digging fools, weren't oh they? Oh my gosh, can you believe this? It goes even deeper. Are we safe to walk on this? Yeah, we're fine here. Somebody's got some newer rope. Polly. Let me, look over, let me go over here to give everybody kind of perspective. So we're standing on and leaning up against the windlass. There's the notches in the board right there. Some uh, explorer tied a rope so that they could go even deeper. That ladder looks in fairly decent shape, but Randy, I gotta tell you, um, I didn't prepare today for this for this mine to be this large. Yeah, it just keeps going. It just keeps going. We so gotta find a way out. Let's keep that on the menu. Okay, let's go back to our rail. This was supposed to be a low impact mine day. And now it's turned into this extraordinary adventure. OK, 
Okay, headed on over here to the one of the rail. And there we are. It's another classifier. Yep. Okay. Let's hope this one goes back outside. What do we have here? Look at this old, here we've got another jug, the uh, more modern miners gloves and a coffee tin, coffee jar. Did huh. coffee, did coffee, coffee come in? Coffee in a jar. Did coffee come in a jar? Apparently so. We've already seen one example of them switching labels there. Take, take your headlamp off in a second, Randy. There you go. One pound ground coffee. I don't see the brand though. How about the lid? Mm -mm. No, kind of hard to read, isn't it? Okay. All right. What do we got over here? Does it keep on going? Oh, jackpot. You go first. What You're going to see at? what I'm talking about. Oh, look at the Epsomite. <laughs> wow. Get that on film. I'm trying. It's like snowflakes. Look at that. It looks like asbestos, but it's not. Got any water on you? Epsomite. Go, go a little bit further up. Show everybody what's up there. I'll come with you. That's fascinating. Isn't that cool? Have you got a water bottle on you? No. Look at the ups of my crystals, guys. Don't film that. Not too late now. Everybody saw you spit on the Ipsomite. Yeah, it's dissolving. Is it dissolving? Mm -hmm. Put your hand up there by that long, the, the long ones right there. Yeah, yeah, to get a sense of scale. They're so delicate, like glass. Oh, you just touch them and they just, they they just, just shatter. Yep. Too cool. <laughs> well, Fascinating but, mineral. Unfortunately, Randy, guess what? We don't have a way out. we got to go back up all those ladders. You think so? Yeah, yeah. Interesting. We're going to save that winds for another day. Absolutely. Okay. Well, we want to continue on the rail for a while? We were on the rail for a little while. Doesn't it keep going? No. Well, wait a minute. This is it. This is it. You're here. Don't be dang. Yeah. So how do they get the ore carts out of here? That's a good question. What did they haul the ore? The ore has to come out somewhere from this level. They you didn't know. haul it up from this level. We got an arrow pointing this direction, but that's, you know, that's where we came from. And let me show you. See, it just goes to where we were. Where we just were. Was there an ore pass there where they dumped the ore down and go down? Yeah, there was. Oh, okay. All right. Then. And then wow. off, to, off to my right here, that didn't go any place. Now we have some, did I point this graffiti out yet? I uh, think we did look at this. Yeah, 1960, 1967. Okay. All right, Randy, hold the camera and pointed at me a second there. Okay guys, well, we uh, explored every single drift down here except for that winds. Um, now as you can see I don't have my backpack with me and there's a few other things I would have generally taken with me knowing that it was going to be a large mine explorer day. wasn't quite prepared for that so we're going to put that winds on the back burner and save it for possibly another explorer sometime in the future. So now, Randy and I had to climb back up all these ladders, so we'll see you guys back outside. All right, everybody. Well, that was a fun little explore. Now, next week, we are gonna go down into this shaft right here in front of me. Um, every Wednesday, I've been doing uh, deep shaft explorations if you go back to my most recent explore, DSE 2, Deep, Deep Shaft Exploration 2, we ran the torpedo cam 
down this shaft right here. It only goes 80 to 100 feet deep, and then it drifts left and right with one going right back underneath the hill and the other one straight north towards the road. Mr. M is in, uh, in Oregon right now. I'm waiting for him to get back, and just as soon as he does, we're gonna erect the schnozzleator, and I'm gonna send uh, my happy butt down this shaft, and we're gonna explore those drifts. That's gonna be a lot of fun. Okay, well, thanks again for coming along on this weekend. We're gonna get on out of here, and I'll see you again next Saturday. Dope on a rope. Okay, guys, that was fun. See you next Saturday. Bye-bye.